blessings. Well, God sent me with a word to release and to speak over you today. And the word is change is coming in the area you were short. Change is coming. Big change is coming. Great God size change is coming. But not just any change because the Lord specified to me it is change coming in the area where you were short. Now, we all have areas in our lives where we can come up short. You know, it's like the team that went to the tournament three times, but every time they came up short. They came up the losers. And the enemy will make you feel like you are a loser. And this can be in a certain area, Possibly it's professionally. You come up short. You know, you don't, you just about make up, make it, but you don't quite get there. You know, you're the salesperson who never quite makes the target, or you just don't get picked for the team, or somehow it, the deal falls through and you don't see the fruit of your labor and you always feel like you're coming up short. Now, this can be even just emotionally, you come up short. Um, financially, you come up short. In your ministry, you maybe feel you always come up short. You get the short end of the stick. And God, he wants you to know that there is change coming in the area where you came short. Now, the word that came to me here is, uh, it came out of the Gospel of Matthew chapter 14. I'm going to read this from verse 15. I can't emphasize enough to you, child of God, get into the word. Because when you're in the word, the Holy Spirit, he will illuminate things to you. He will speak to you through the word. And the word is alive. It's active. So the Bible says when it was evening, his disciples came to him. Of course, that's Jesus saying, this is a deserted place and the hour is already late. You see, just prophetically, it's not too late. Okay. I don't know what the enemy is telling you. It's too late for you. It's too late now. You can't have a, you know, it's the day's gone by. You can't, you, you'll never have a happy marriage now. You'll never have this. You'll never have, it's too late. You're running out of time. You're running out of time. That's a lie. Okay, this is a deserted place and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they can go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fish. That's verse 17. You see what they're saying? We don't have enough and we're coming short for what we need. We're coming up short. Send these people away. And Jesus said, bring them here to me. And then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the ground. He took the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitudes. So they all ate and all were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments, that's the leftovers, that remained. Now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just praise God right here because he is a multiplier. He is a miracle working, way making God. And God wants you to know that even in the areas where you've come up short and you feel that you always had, 
it didn't have enough that there was a lack there was an insufficiency somehow everyone else was getting ahead where you've been short short in all kinds of different areas i have to let you know that god is going to do a multiplication miracle in your life and i see the people who who came up short when it came to their dream they came up short when it came to their goals they came up short when it came to their personal life when it came to all avenues of life and physically mentally emotionally i'm telling you right now god is going to top you up god is going to multiply in the area where you have come short in the in the precise area where you have the need you see this is where the lord <coughs> he knows exactly what's going on in your life he knows what's going on in our lives and he can see and he knows exactly what is needed and he says i am the all-sufficient one thank you jesus so also too fruits of your labor okay where you have been working you have been obedient now this is this is the key too i'm talking to people who know their god and the bible says they that know the lord will be strong and do mighty exploits it is a time right now where god is making a distinction i just speak that over you right now in the name of jesus child of god he's making a distinction so that you will stand out so that you will stand out and and i'm talking about the god who is more than enough saying that i am going to bring change to your life thank you jesus i received this myself you know, we all, as I said, we all have areas. And God, right now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just lift up your hands and receive the change right now. I see changes in position happening where you were, were the underdog, where, where, where they all always, um, you know, they, they never saw you in, in, in light of what you could do, underestimated you, you know. Uh, you're, there's going to be a change there in, in position. There's going to be a change in the level of power, even where, you know, sometimes we need to be topped up. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the anointing so that you can go to that next level and, and those demons that were, were afflicting and trying to defeat you in yesterday's season, you will be surpassing and just overflowing with the anointing and the power of God because God is multiplying you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So that's the word I wanted to release. Your joy and your peace, wherever there's been a shortage, where you've been coming up short, just in terms of the overflowing presence of God and the abundant grace and the, and the light and favor of God upon you right now, I just speak it is it's he's pouring his spirit out on you right now hallelujah Jesus he's pouring his spirit out upon you right now you will be filled with ideas divine ideas you will not have to be the one that has no inspiration you know that's downtrodden no I'm talking about change coming to you in the area that you were short thank you jehovah god so i pray that blesses you and the enemy he is the one who is the loser not us the devil he's going to come up short when it comes to whatever he's trying to plan and whatever he's trying to plot and scheme against you he's going to come up short okay because he is not even going to come near the target of hitting the areas that he's trying to get after you, your family, your loved ones, your call. So I pray that blesses you. That blesses me and I just receive it and I thank God for his word. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your love and your prayers to me. And thank you for those who feel led to sow into this word. By the leading of the Holy Spirit, I pray 100-fold abundant overflowing increase and multiplication 
in the mighty name of Jesus over you. And I will talk to you soon. Love you much. Bye-bye for now.